just going to start off with a little introduction for the people that don't know me. My name is Matthew Shorrock, I'm age 20 and my previous working experience included two weeks at Woolworths in Chester as a just customer service assistant, uh, three weeks at Chester Zoo working as a guest services assistant and also a Christmas period at River Island which was really hectic and um, again being a customer services assistant. Over the past five weeks I've been working at a marketing and PR company so it's been related to the course that I've been doing. Um, marketing and PR company was called Marketing PR Ojects or as you would like normally say it, Marketing Projects uh, which has offices in Chester, Liverpool and also London. Uh, specialists in delivering results for organisations that want to increase market share or mine. I didn't just read that off my laptop. So basically the point of this presentation is to answer and kind of give people an idea of what we have been doing over the past four or five weeks or how many of the weeks it is and how that's kind of enhanced our life goals and professional views. Okay, so for the past five weeks I've been working in a marketing and PR company and the rationale, the decision behind that, was because in January and February we were doing a PR course slash module and yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I enjoyed the kind of thought process and what we had to do, whether that be press releases, talking to clients, writing stuff, doing presentations in front of journalists. I kind of enjoyed everything that went into that. And so, yeah, what I did wasn't a self-managed project, and that was kind of the reason behind me choosing to work in a marketing slash PR company, basically. I went back and I looked at my proposal um, and CV SWOT analysis um, in preparation for the task that I've just completed. Uh, and firstly, I looked at my SWOT analysis and I looked at my um, weaknesses and threats. On the list of weaknesses was SAN report writing. And yeah, I think it's important as much to have great strengths but also to have not so bad weaknesses. Um, yeah, and essay and report writing. I might not have been writing a load of essays, but report writing, we've done a couple for a few companies, and I've also been working on an e newsletter that I should be able to um, link to this blog as it's coming out in the next couple of days. And that really helped and benefited my skills. And as much as I'm still not great at it, I'm definitely not as bad as I was, so that's a definite improvement. Threats wise, uh, it was lack of experience and not enough skills within the workplace. Um, personally, I think uh, experience-wise, that's kind of not that all in the head. Uh, and same with skills, really. I've not just been doing PR, as a lot of people like to say. I've been, you know, it's so much more than that, really. Like, writing a press release isn't just writing it and sending it. It's kind of getting the information from the client, writing the draft, sending it back to the client, making sure you get the pictures, get the right information, send it to the journalist, make sure they think it's okay, then put it on PR Max, which is a publications website, write that out all correctly, send that out to a load of journalists, and then you've got to get the newspaper at the end of the week and make sure you've hit, cut that out, put it in a file, show to potential employees in a future date, you know, Along with that, that's just press release, so I've been doing so much more than that. So I think experience and skills wise, I've benefited so much from this um, placement of marketing projects. Originally, my plan was to work in an advertising agency because that's what I was really enjoying at the time in university, and that's where I kind of foresaw myself in the future. Though the opportunity to work at marketing projects has been like really beneficial for me and I also think for the company as well, we've kind of re worked really well in tangent together. Um, being a small business, I've been really uh, been able to kind of cement a place in there, you know, it's oh hi Matt, how are you going, as opposed to a massive company where, you know, I might just be following someone around for four weeks. It wasn't just working um, within PR, I was also doing marketing, social media, writing content and it was great really because Maybe these were things I couldn't have done just in an advertising agency. The PR spectre almost seems bigger and it was great to kind of learn these skills. Another positive of working for Marketing Projects was the events that I got to go to on behalf of Marketing Projects. I went to 
Business Northwest in Manchester, and also attended a couple of curry clubs, which are social um, networking events for professionals um, in London and Chester. And it was great to go to these events and kind of represent marketing projects as opposed to just being a student and be able to talk to professionals um, on a basis, you know, as being a professional myself almost to talk to them about my job, them to talk to me about their job and it was great to kind of hear their life stories basically and from that experience I have made the decision to create my own website for myself so with all my personal information on experience and work I've done that's something that in the next few months I'm going to be focusing on producing because the one thing that I learned is you need to make yourself fully available at all times, whether that be a business card or you know a website, a LinkedIn, Facebook, a Twitter, a YouTube account, and that's something that I will be working on thanks to this experience. Okay, so the next step, how am I going to use the experience to benefit me in the future? Well, I think that the majority of the things that I've learned are all transferable. I've learned article writing, teamwork, working under pressure, negotiation with clients and phone etiquette and these are all skills that aren't just going to work in a small office in Chester, you know, they're going to work everywhere and you know, I think that's really going to benefit me in the future. There are skills though that I've also noticed that I am lacking and I need to improve on and one of them is punctuation. This, everybody, is how I'm going to improve on my punctuation. Is a book, Eats, Shoots and Leaves, the Zero Tolerance Approach to Punctuation. I'm going to be working heavily on that because if there's one thing that my report writing and essay writing generally does lack, it's good punctuation. I'm learning how to spell a hell of a lot better and yeah, I think that's something I need to improve on. Okay, so the good, the bad and the ugly. I'm going to go for the compliment sandwich here, so positive, negative, positive. Firstly, a newsletter was written by myself that will be published onto Marketing Project's website in the next couple of days. I'm really proud of that. It showed the skills I've kind of learned from the start of the placement to the end of the placement. Where, you know, whether that be punctuation, you know, um, writing in an interesting manner, etc. And also, um, sounds silly, but my email and phone etiquette. Um, being able to talk to professionals and business people in a really professional, uh, you know, mature manner. It's not something I've been used to before and to kind of transfer from the start to the end of the placement. There was a notable difference and I'm really happy with that. So, the bad. Okay, firstly, um, my trip down to London uh, was really good but there was some big negatives in it. And one of them would be how I prepared myself for the trip. I didn't um, print off a map, I ended up getting lost, turned up late and it just taught me time management basically and become um, better prepared in the future and that's something, you know, not just for going on trips, that's for absolutely everything. Another um, bit of a negative was uh, a few days in the office, you know, it didn't go my way, there were some negatives, you know, I didn't do my best and in the end of the day I need to just not get my head down and you know that relates to everything in life really not just work. Final note, uh, my positive, so the compliment sandwich, uh, I was offered a job at Marketing Projects um, in June so yeah obviously I think I've done okay to um, have been offered that position I'm really happy about that so uh, yeah great experience professional experience to a 1MC woo!